hi guys uh what's up everybody welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here feel so much welcomed if you have not supported this channel by subscribing kindly subscribe uh hit that notification bell so that when i bring up a new video you're going to be notified and if you have not yet subscribed hey oh my god what is it please subscribe 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 and uh, you'll be of so much support uh to this channel for supporting me for subscribing and also for helping me create more awareness about insurance so once again i am ruth your financial advisor in insurance sector um once again i want to to say that i, I know there is something that i've not done Someone requested me to do a health insurance uh, video. It is coming up. Click that notification bell. You'll be notified when I bring it up. We are still uh, we are still on the editing part. Uh, so yeah, I, it's coming up. I promise you on that. So yeah, today I wanted to talk about motor insurance. Motor insurance is a broad, it's a very broad uh, topic that we can talk about. But I wanted people to understand this, the a bit version of it, and I'm also going to explain more about it. Motor insurance comprises of a third party and also a comprehensive cover, and also that but third party fire and theft cover. Uh, the one that is mandatory, you know that you need to have it according to the rule. You have to have a third party cover. But for me, I mostly advocate to have a comprehensive cover to all my clients. A third party cover is a cover that excludes your vehicle and it's a cover that covers the third person who is supposed to be hit or anything else that can be hit by your vehicle. If an accident occurs and uh, you only have a third party cover, you are the one to bear the cost of repairing your vehicle. You are the one to bear the cost of anything else that happens to your vehicle. You are the one to bear that cost. So I always advocate for us to have a comprehensive cover. When we talk about a compre no, let me first finish with the third party. A third party cover, it is very cheap. I can give you a third party cover with 5,000, 6,000, you know, 7,000. But I'm telling you, my people, this is a very expensive cover. It, even if it is cheaper, you know, you can pay 5,000 annual, 6,000 annual, 7,000 annual. It is a cheaper cover. But I'm telling you when something occurs, maybe it's an accident or whatever it occurs, it will really cost you because... If honestly you have taken that cover with an institution that is not, uh, or it doesn't have the muscles, you know, to take the risk for you, you are the one to take that risk. And you know you are going to pay, uh, you're going to pay that person who has been injured and it is not a, a small portion because they ask for almost 20 million. Are you ready to pay that? If you're not... Please be uh, careful of the financial institution that you are, you, are, you, are, you are involving yourself with because a third party cover can be cheap, but when an accident occurs, it is the worst. I advocate for comprehensive cover. A comprehensive cover is a cover that covers your vehicle and also covers anything else that can be hit by your vehicle. Uh, this is the best cover because when an accident occurs, you are able to sit down and relax. And you are insured they are able to repair your vehicle. You are given, um, you are given a, a repair authority. You are also given a garage where you are supposed to take your vehicle. So you see, it gives you peace of mind because you, are not, you don't have to start looking for the best garage you don't have to keep on you know going to the garage to, to check your vehicle and everything i give you the repair authority i tell you where to take that vehicle or even the garage that you know i'm going to refer you to they are going to pick your vehicle if the vehicle is uh, in a bad state or maybe a write-off or it cannot uh you know drive you cannot drive to the garage the garage will come in 
pick and carry your vehicle and take it to the garage so for you it's just to have a peaceful mind when you are taking a comprehensive cover it's good to take something that is called a courtesy car a courtesy car means while your vehicle is still in the garage being repaired i give you another car to be okay to continue with your errands to continue with whatever that you're doing this means that your work is not going to stop because you had an accident no if we have uh you have taken a courtesy car in your comprehensive cover you just pay for a small amount i think it's five thousand and it's paya you know a small amount and when that accident do happen you're going to be given that courtesy car it is very important also something else I would like to talk about in a comprehensive cover is something that is called excess protector. Excess protector means this is a it's a an extra cost that can be bared by the insured. You are the one to bear that extra cost when an accident occurs. Instead of you bearing that cost when the uh when your vehicle is supposed to get repaired, it's good to always put that extra cost. it's around i think 5000 or 4000 annual but for you when an accident occur you don't have to get worried about anything there is no some extra cash that you are going to bring in no your vehicle will just be taken to the garage be repaired if you had a courtesy car in your cover you are given an extra car for those days that your vehicle will be in the garage and also in the garage, we help you to make for point has your vehicle been repaired. Is it over and everything? And you don't worry. When the vehicle is over, we give you now the release authority and you take your vehicle and you continue with your errands and everything. So getting a comprehensive cover, it is very nice compared to a third party cover. There is also that party fire and left, but this one now is... Um, it will cover your vehicle because there is fire and there is theft. But now there is no comprehensive, meaning that you have only covered your vehicle uh, due to theft and due to fire. If your vehicle now gets an accident, you are the one to take it to the garage. I don't know if you understand that. There is that party fire and theft. But this one is only covering your vehicle due to theft and your vehicle due to fire and also now the third party anything else that can whether it's an object or it's someone who have been hit by your vehicle that those are the people who are going now to be to be covered so you need to understand those three types there is also in a in a motor insurance now there is categories i think that i can talk it we i can talk about that in my next video categories of um, motor insurance we have private what use do you use your vehicle for uh, we have private we have commercial we have commercial own goods we have commercial general cartage and also we have pickups we have driving uh, driving school cars we have school buses and everything this all of these they have different rates they have different packages of uh, covering them. So, and also it determines with the type of risk that this vehicle, if it's a private vehicle, it is not much exposed to risk. If it's a commercial vehicle, somehow it is a, a very prone to risk because what is it used to carry? You know, what are the goods, the kind of goods that are carried there? And just even know that even those goods, they need to be insured. Are they prone that this vehicle can be stolen? Are they frameable goods that, you know, uh, they can cause fire and everything? So these are the things, Zenye, these are the things that can be, uh, can be factored in so that we, we are able to give you the cover that you need. So I wanted just to emphasize on that know the type of cover you want people don't know the difference that party comprehensive that party fire and theft and i have explained about those three you're the one to choose which one is best but for me i always advocate to my client choose comprehensive cover 
I'm telling uh, for the years that I've been in this industry, for the years that I've really worked in the insurance, yes, there have been claims. But I'm telling you, there is no claim that I can say it has never been sorted. All the claims that I've dealt with, they have been sorted. And one thing is because of even choosing the best insurer. Because one of the things I told you is the financial stability of that institution. The financial stability of that company that you are taking your policy with. You need to check on that. If a claim occurs, are they able to sort me? Are they able to pay me? So those are the things that you need to check out. So thank you so much for listening to me. I'm bringing up the next video about the categories of insurance, categories of uh, the vehicles and everything. And also my uh, medical video is coming up very soon. So thank you so much for listening to me. May God bless you. May God favor you more. And also subscribe, support, share these videos, create more awareness about insurance. And if you have any question, let me be your agent. I am a, your financial advisor in the insurance sector. Make me to be your agent. I always put my number uh, down there so that you can call me. If you need insurance, I'm here for you. So thank you so much and may God bless you. Bye.